September 19th, 2022, our bi-weekly cover crop check. We're just south of the Dodge County Fairgrounds and a healthy soil, healthy grower, water participant. Uh, the corn is um, in week 17 and the cover crop is in week 12. Uh, an example of just a random ear that I pulled, this is a 18 by 33. We're at like half milk line. So getting into the cover crops, um, the most prevalent one, easiest one to see uh, when you walk into the field just jumps out at you, it's ryegrass. So everything that you see, that's all grass here. This is all, uh, that's all ryegrass. Um, the buckwheat is uh, starting to senesce and turn down. This is like a, a 30 inch tall buckwheat. We don't have too many of them that are, that are standing anymore. Um, there's, they're, they're just tipping over. They're, they're going through their life cycle. Uh, we've got uh, rape. Here's a rape plant. And we've got some uh, clover. And we have uh, some um, flax right here. And then we've got some vetch right there. And then I think I've got all the all seven species uh, covered. Um, this corn within the last two weeks, you could uh, last two weeks ago when we shot the video, it was very green. We actually had to kneel and um, kneel down so you could see it. But right now. It's very open. This uh, corn was sprayed with a fungicide, uh, uh, but we're getting hit with uh, tar spot. We got tar spot in here, and within the last two weeks, there's a lot of anthracnose. So anthracnose, and the, the corn itself is just—it's uh, opening up. Uh, I'm going to step to the side. We can shoot a video. We'll shoot a video going down the corn rows to see how much uh, uh, cover crop we got going on going down the corn rows.